Throughout Microsoft Project Web App, multiple OLAP databases can be delivered that contain the specific resources, projects, and custom fields that each group within your organization requires for its particular group reporting needs. There's a lot of documentation out there on OLAP cubes, which we will not go into in this video. This is more of a how to get around and, a, and an overview of to work within Microsoft Project and the OLAP configuration process. So to start this process, you go ahead and click on the server settings link in the quick launch bar. Then under database administration, click on OLAP database management. And in this area, you can manage the existing uh, OLAP databases. When you create a, the server, an OLAP database is created. Um, in this area, you can create new OLAP databases. You can configure existing, copy existing, delete, build, and, re and refresh button. So to delete or copy, simply select it and choose the appropriate button. And same goes for configuration. If you click on the configuration button, you'll be presented with the dialog there. So in this example, we'll go ahead and create a new OLAP database. So before we do that, it's best to copy the server name because we'll be using this link. So go ahead and so highlight that. Control C or right click and copy. Then click on the new button to start the process. In the analysis server field, paste the link that you just copied. And then go ahead and give it a name. You can add an extranet URL or a description. You can assign a department, a resource department. Or pro OLAP cubes can be assigned to both project departments and resource departments. Uh, you can set a database ra date range and ol uh, your frequency of updates. Uh, typically, it's done nightly uh, by default at 12 AM. And when you're happy with your changes or your new creation, click the Save button. So now here you can see the new OLAP database that we created. Uh, you can see that it's not built. We'll have to click the Build Now button to do that. But before we do that, we'll want to configure the database uh, to fit the needs uh, that you desire. So while it's highlighted, click on the Configuration button. And here you can choose the type of cube project, resource, task, or assignment. Depending on which cube dimension you choose, the available fields will change. So you can go ahead and choose the appropriate fields that you desire. And you can choose the same for the cube measures. There are built-in measures as well that you can choose. And when you're done with your uh, changes, you can go ahead and click the Save button. Now the final step to start using this is to build. So select the new cube that you just built and choose the Build Now button. And this will take a few minutes. You can actually click on this link in the status column to bring up a box that shows you in real time the status of the build. Now that your new cubes are built, uh, you can always see under business intelligence in the quick launch bar and under templates and then through the English there. You can see that a set of templates are created for each OLAP cube that you have built. 
um, you can go in and edit and change and create new um, templates as well here as well as you can rename these folders to something more appropriate so at this point you can start using your OLAP cubes that you've just configured um, using the various tools that Microsoft Project Server 2010 has to offer.